Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a collision toggle button. What this button does is when you press the button, it allows you to walk through players and not collide with them. This is very useful for games like obstacle courses so you don't get messed up when you're doing the obstacle course. So the first thing we are going to do is create remote events. So we're going to go to replicated storage, create a folder, and name this folder RES, which stands for remote events. We're going to create two remote events. So create a remote event, duplicate it, name the first one collision event, and name the second one update all collisions. It is important that you follow the exact naming that I do because if you don't then it will not work. Now we are going to create our GUI. Go to start a GUI and create a screen GUI. Name it Collision Toggle GUI. Inside the GUI, create a text button. Now, set the text in this text button to collision on. So, just like that. Name the text button, which we should have done a little earlier, but name it to collision toggle. Inside this button, I want you to create a local script. Name this local script, whatever you want, but for this case, I'm going to name it collision button script. Inside of this script, I want you to paste the code I have linked in the description in, in the pastement, which is the collision button script. What this script does is it gets the replicated storage, it finds the remote event, and when the player presses the button, it fires the remote event. So if the text of the button is equal to off, then we are turning it on. So it changes the text to on and it fires the remote event with the parameter on. It does the opposite if the text is collision off. So now we are going to go to server script service create a script, name this script, collision toggle script. Inside this script, I want you to paste the second pastebin script I have linked in the description. This is a bit of a longer script, so I'm going to quickly explain it. When the player joins a game, it uh, defines these variables. It goes to the physics service, which allows me to play with the collisions. So it registers the collision groups, character and local character. Then we set the collisions up for, we set it up. So if two players are in the, if both players are in the collision group local character, then they cannot collide. If it's local character and character, then they still can't collide because one of them has their collisions off. And if it's both character, then they both have collisions on. Now here we create a value to check if collisions are actually on or off for the player, which is going to be called current toggle. And so now every time the a character is added to the game, it reassigns the collision groups to every player in the game to ensure that the collision groups don't get messed up. So if it gets the player and it checks to see the value of the toggle and if it's on, it sets the collision group to character and if it's off it sets it to local character and it does the same thing if you press the button so the event so when the event is fired if the parameter which is setting in this case is equal to off then it turns it off and it does the same thing for on also make sure that you go to collision toggle GUI and look up reset on spawn and make sure this is clicked to off if it is not then when you reset or rejoin, then the button is going to say your collisions are on even if they're off.
Now, that is actually it for this video. But a way we can test it is if we go to test, uh, local, and then two players. And now I can show you exactly how it works and I can show you it working in action. All right, as you can see, there is player one and player two. So when I click the button on and off, so right now my collisions are on, so I can jump on the player. If I click off, my collisions turn off and I can run through the player. It works the same way for the other player. Now, if I reset with my collisions off, I should be able to still run through the player when I rejoin. So I really appreciate it that you guys uh, took the time to watch the video and I hope I helped. Um, thank you for watching.